Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be going over Cartesian products with empty sets. This is a follow-up to my lesson on Cartesian products where I did not touch on those dastardly empty sets. I think contemplating how empty sets work with certain mathematical definitions is a great test of your understanding of the definitions. So I encourage you to take a few seconds before watching the rest of this video and think about what it would mean to take a Cartesian product with an empty set. And if you can figure it out, then by all means click away and go find something else to watch. But here's a spoiler warning, we're about to get into it and we'll talk about just how Cartesian products work with empty sets. And it shouldn't take too long. So here we've got our beautiful definition of the Cartesian product in set builder notation. The Cartesian product of A and B is the set containing all ordered pairs AB, where the first element A is from the set A, and the second element B is from the set B. So then let's jump right into an example. Let's say we have this set that has 1, 2, and 3 in it and we're gonna take its Cartesian product with the empty set, which I'll write like this, just a set with no elements in it. So looking at this definition, let's, uh, let's start up the Cartesian product. We'll start the set and open up an ordered pair. The first element has to be from this set, remember, from the definition. That's no problem. Let's take one, and then the second element has to be from this set. So we can't take anything because it's the empty set. Oh no. So in fact, let's go ahead and erase this ordered pair and close the bracket. There is no ordered pair in this set. There's no element in that set. By the definition of the Cartesian product, you can see that if we take the empty set and try to use a Cartesian product on it with any other set, we'll just end up with the empty set. So in general, for any set A, if you take its Cartesian product with the empty set, you get the empty set. And of course, in this case, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. If you take the empty set cross with A, you again just get the empty set because you can't take any elements from the empty set to make an ordered pair. Thus, since the Cartesian product is a set containing all possible ordered pairs, where the first element is from the first set and the second element is from the second set, you just don't get any elements. So you don't have a Cartesian product containing any elements. Thus, of course, you get the empty set. And that's really all there is to it. So the Cartesian product of any set with the empty set is the empty set. So I hope this video helped you understand how Cartesian products work with empty sets. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for